Well, Walt Grayson is back with us and has a story that is appropriate for us this week. Yep. And it isn't just about egg hunts or bunny rabbits, but about a rock and roll band from Mississippi. Yeah, David and the Giants, they've uh, had some rock hits back in the 60s and 70s, but since the 1980s, they played contemporary Christian music. So obviously something changed along the way. Here's what they told me. Well, I've been a fan of David and Giants ever since I played Super Love back on WDDT in Greenville when I was just getting out of high school. But I finally got to meet David Huff, his brothers, twins, Rayburn and Claiborne Huff, and drummer Keith Thibodeau at Pineville Day the first weekend of April of this year. Well, I was born in those woods about three miles from right here. The way I see it, there were two seminal moments in the life of the band. One was when the Huff brothers' dad left his guitar sitting around the house. And I spotted that guitar, and it was not like a light from heaven that sh sh came down and flashed upon that guitar. I just knew that that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Another defining moment was more like a light from heaven. It happened to the band's drummer, Keith Thibodeau. Our drummer that used to be Little Ricky on the I Love Lucy show found the Lord, and we thought he, he just went off, you know, the deep end, and he was going to be all right when he got over this situation. I went back to the band and said, we got to change the, the lyrics of our song and, and just start singing for, for the Lord. Yeah. And they thought, uh, uh, what, what drug are you on? <laughs> you know, like. It took three car wrecks. I got busted in Newton, Mississippi, April 15th, 1977. Shortly after that, I gave my life to the Lord. And here we are today, still serving the king of all kings. David, you think you'd even be alive today if you hadn't found Jesus? I've thought about that many, many times. I'm not sure if I would still be here because the lifestyle that I was living was no good. It was it was leading to one place, and, and that is not the place I'm going. Say what you will about church and Christianity, but David Huff and his brothers and Keith Thibodeau will tell you what they have changed their lives. I found the rock that don't move. I tell you what, they still play it <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Started to say the wrong word there for <laughs> Now, David still has his guitar licks, and of course, uh, Keith tears up the drums, and Rayburn and Claiborne are the best backup band that any brother could ask for. Uh, so anyway, and Keith uh, Thibodeau does a good bit of I Love Lucy, <laughs> I Love Lucy fan conventions all around the country. Well, you know, I Love Lucy was probably my favorite show mm -hmm. growing up as a kid. You know, yeah. it was the reruns mm -hmm. and all. And then when I moved up here, I actually lived two doors down from Keith Thibodeau. Little Ricky. Little Ricky. I just couldn't <laughs> yeah. believe I was now living next to, or very close to, to uh, Keith Thibodeau and his wife, Kathy, and they were have been so lovely. Keith so told lovely. me a good bit about uh, his growing up on the show. I'll, I'll see if I can edit that into uh, a story. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was... It was so, <laughs> I got a picture, so it was everything, yeah.